after a brief hiatus, we're back with less than a week. And by we, I mean me. So this week, I'm going to be showing you the song Creepy Doll. It's going to be, uh, this song is a little confusing. I'll explain uh, in a minute. For, for anybody who's not familiar with uh, uh, songs that have more than one kind of meter to it, most songs you hear are 4-4, four, four, meaning that there are four beats, and each one of them is a quarter note. Um, it, it, per measure, there are four beats. Um, in this song, the chorus and the bridge have parts that are in 6-4, which means that there are six beats and they're all quarter notes. So uh, I'll explain that when I get to the chorus in the song, and it, hopefully it'll be clear to you. Anyways, let's get in tune. Here's my A. Also assume for this song that you're going to attempt to be playing it like the live version, which uh, you know has a, it's got the guitar in it a little bit more clearly than it does in the recording. Um, so for the verse, and yeah, on the, on the recording, the first verse is mostly just uh, the synth xylophone. So, or, or maybe it's the real one. I don't know. But anyways, uh, the first verse, the song's going to be in A minor. The chords you have are A minor. C. This is very close to a C chord. And repeat some chords that you've already played before C, D, and E. So I'll play just that section for you before going on to what the pre chorus would be. The second repeat of that, you'll go to the pre chorus section, which will be F over C, C, and then you're going to have a chord which is a, uh, it's a B minor 7 flat 5 or a B half diminished, however you want to call it. It's just like this. And A minor again. Then you have F over C, C, D, E. I'll play that whole section for you starting with the F over C chord. Okay, the chorus. As I said before, this is in 6-4. You're going to count six beats before you switch. Now, if you're just singing and playing, if you know the original song, this part shouldn't require too much thought. But just so you don't get confused if you're trying to play along with a metronome, you know, I like to tap my foot if I'm not sure, if I'm not singing. Because you have, you know, it starts with A minor, you have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then it goes F major 7 over C. Then you have G. Then it goes D, G. It goes the first two beats of the six, and then the fourth and fifth. So you, you, you skip a beat there. We'll go to E, A minor. So here's where the beat will go. It'll go D, G, E, A, and then you repeat. So it'll be just like this. play that, you're going to play this very long sounding chord name. It's something close to F major 7, add 11, or sharp 11 over C. Um, it's one of those two, but it's, here's the, it's the easy way to think of it. It's you have, you know, let's say you did an F chord and you left the two bottom strings open, but you, uh, the lowest note you played was this C right here. So you just let the rest of it stay open and you get this awesome 
very creepy sounding chord. So I'm going to play, uh, so the end of the chorus would sound just like this, it would go. Alright, so just like that. Then in the bridge, you're going to encounter something similar. Instead of doing that last chord here, the creepy one, you're going to go straight into, uh, you're going to do F over C. Then C. Then the B minor 7 flat 5. A minor. You repeat the same thing. Starting with the line, the doll is in your house. Uh, you have F over C to G. F over C to G. You do that two more times. And then for the little guitar solo part, it's going to go back into 6 8, starting on the C. So. Seven. So just that last part, when you go to that C chord, the you are crazy, or here's the big rock out section, that's when you're going to do another section of 6-4. So here's the whole bridge. That's the whole song. I'm going to attempt to play it for you. I'm going to subtract a verse as I normally do and play it with the bridge without vocals.
be something I didn't mention earlier about uh, this uh, F major 7 over C chord. This is very similar to just F over C. It's just you have this high E open. Pretty much gets used in the chorus, but if you want to throw it in anywhere else uh, to season to your taste, you can do that. Um, if you have any questions about the song or anything you need to clear it up, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks.